today I am back doing another video. This video is going to be my updated favorite phone apps. Now for my updated favorite phone apps, I don't have too many for this video. I only have seven. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into them. Now my first two favorite phone apps are both dealing with Facebook and the first one is my Facebook page manager. If you watched my life in June vlog I believe I mentioned that I made a Facebook page back in the end of May so that is what I use this Facebook app for now my Facebook page is linked to like my personal Facebook but so by going into my actual Facebook app I can get it can get to it from there but actually having the Facebook page manager it's just a lot easier to get to and I can do a lot more things with that app and another benefit from having this specific app is if one of you message me on my Facebook page I can get to it from there from just going through my personal Facebook page I couldn't read or I think I could read your Facebook messages but I couldn't reply to them or something like that so it's just a lot easier to actually have the Facebook page manager app that way I can have the entire experience of my Facebook page without actually going onto a computer my next favorite app dealing with Facebook is the Facebook messaging app yourself it's pretty much another way to get to your Facebook messages and also use them and one of my favorite things about these apps is when you use it there's like a little bubble um, somewhere you can put wherever you want on your screen of the person you're talking to so let's say like you go on like Twitter or Instagram and that little bubble will be there and you can still talk to that person while you're on a different app so it's a really great way to multitask and you're not just secluded to the Facebook app really special I'm sure you guys have heard of them yourselves or use them yourselves but I just really love them they've made everything so much easier for me when it comes to talking to people on my personal Facebook and also talking to you guys and now to move on to games I have two games that I have been loving lately the first one I mentioned before and is called cookie jam kind of like a Candy Crush Saga game. It pretty much has the same rules and objectives. It just has a different layout. And the layout of the game is really cute. It's kind of full of like um, shapes and colors and cookies and pastries and stuff like that. game just like Candy Crush Saga. The next thing I have been obsessing over the past few months is Bubble Witch 2. To, um, bubble shoot games. I know there's a bunch of games like there with different names, but it's very similar to those type of games where you have to match the bubble colors to complete the objective and things like that. So it's very similar to other bubble shoot games you might have played. I know there's a Bubble Witch one. I think it's just called Bubble Witch, but I'm guessing they're very similar, obviously. Bubble Witch 2 is just a more updated game. The next app I've been loving lately is called Text Cutie. Twitter. In the beginning of months, I'll post um, little cute pages telling you of all the videos that are going to be coming up in that month on my YouTube channel. And those pictures are what I created with the Text Cutie app. This app just has a bunch of backgrounds and fonts, and you can really customize it to make it your own. You can change the text size, the text color.
apps out there that are very similar to this one. There might be better ones, there might be worse ones, but this one specifically that I have tried out, I have been loving. It works for me. I'm not really too picky when it comes to apps, so Text Cutie has really been working for me. I post those little pictures telling you guys like what new videos are gonna be up, or if I just wanna put something out there on Instagram in words, something like that. So this app works really, really well. The next app I have been loving is the Etsy app. place like eBay or Amazon, places like that where people can make their shops and sell whatever they would like. Now I just love Etsy in general just because I can always find what I'm looking for at a really great price. But this app I just love just because it's easy to use. purchase anything on my phone even though I have the app and you can do that with the um, Etsy app or any other app where you can purchase things from you can do that but I just personally don't like to I would rather do it on the computer but I still love going on the Etsy app just to look things up whether I'm bored or if I really need to find something really fast I can just go on that app type it in and it's right there my last favorite phone app is the Redbox app Redbox before. If you haven't, it's just a place where you can rent movies for one night for a really cheap price. And it's not like a real building. It's pretty much just like a box, pretty much sitting outside, you know, drugstores, grocery stores. And I feel the same way about this Redbox app as I do with the Etsy app. I don't make any purchases of renting movies on the Redbox app, but I like to go on there to search for movies, uh, whether I'm in a rush or I just really want to look something up when I'm bored, you know, just things like that. And it's just really handy to use. And this Redbox app is very similar to just going on the computer and going on their website. You can search your location for a specific location of a Redbox where the one you want to go to and you can get all the movies that they do have available there. It's just really handy to use, really easy to use, and I just love it. All right, everyone, so that is it for my updated favorite phone apps. I'm sorry I didn't have as many for this time around, but anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will know my two other favorite phone apps videos I will put down in the description box, so you can go ahead and check out those apps as well. Also, the apps in those videos are still videos that I like to this day, but I just don't want to make it repetitive and show you the same phone apps over and over again in videos. So I would check those two other videos out. Those are all different phone apps from this video, so those will be down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check those out. Before I go, I want to give a shout out to a few of my new subscribers today. The Sparkle of Sunshine, Kara or Cara Michael J, Sophia P, Lee Wan P, Chloe S, need to get a hold of me all my social networking links are always in the description box down below or you can comment down below this video or message me here on YouTube until my next video I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video bye everyone